क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 द कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ ए मूविंग पार्टिकल एट ए टाइम t आर गिवन एज x 5 sin 20t एंड y 5 cos 20t ऑल आर इन si यूनिट्स द स्पीड ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज वी कैन से द पार्टिकल इज मूविंग ऑन अ सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस 5 विद एंगुलर स्पीड ऑफ 20 दिस इज द सिचुएशन वी शैल से हियर so angular speed being 20 radius being 5 so velocity of the particle in any time it is omega r omega is 20 r is 5 simply i'm having this answer to be 5 meter per second very easy this question was that is option 4 is the correct answer here in question number 17 now in the arrangement shown in figure the minimum horizontal force required to pull the lower block is take g to be 10 meter per second square on this particular mass friction force limiting value of the friction force would be mu times mu is 0 0.1 this mass is 1 into g that is coming out to be 1 newton similarly the friction force at this point maximum value of the friction force with the interface of 2 kg and ground it is mu that is 0 0.2 normal force here is 3 into 10 I would say it to be 6 Newton minimum horizontal force required to pull the lower block here the force is applied so this surface will resist its motion and the friction force at this surface will also resist the motion so here it is 1 Newton and here it was 6 Newton so total effectively 7 Newton of the resistive force that will be acting in backward direction in worst case situation. So force that is required to pull this block along the direction must be equal to at least 7 Newton then only it will be moving in upward direction. Option 3 is the correct answer. Now let us take on to question number 16. In question number 16 in figure the mass of block capital M that is 1 kg mu being 0 0.5 and sin theta is 3 by 5 find the acceleration of the block if f is equal to 10 newton two different forces of same magnitude acting along this direction and this direction value being 10 newton each and it's acting at an angle of theta is equal to 3 by 5 we need to find out the acceleration of the block so what i'll calculate here first what is the total driving force that will be acting and total friction force that will try to oppose it mg along the direction m is how much 1 kg so it is 10 this f was 10 newton so along the direction it is f cos theta f cos theta along this direction it is f sin theta this f yet again f along the direction friction force will be acting in a backward direction and the normal force by the ground so in vertical direction the system remains in equilibrium so i would say n plus f sin theta f is 10 sin theta is 3 by 5 must be equal to 10 or normal force here equal to 10 minus 6 that is 4 newton so the maximum value of the friction force i would say it is mu times normal mu was given to be half and the normal being 4 so the friction force is coming out to be 2 newton here now the total driving force that is f cos theta and f f was 10 plus 10 cos theta being 4 by 5 that is equal to 18 newton is the force that is effectively acting in this direction and 2 newton force is actually the opposing force so total force along this direction is 18 minus 2 that is 16 newton and the mass of the block was 1 kg so 16 meter per second square is the acceleration with which this mass m will be moving in this direction option 4 is the correct answer for question number 18 now let's take on to question number 19 in question number 19 a plank of mass m1 that is 8 kg with a bar of mass m2 2 kg is placed on its rough surface this surface is rough surface lie on a smooth horizontal elevator ascending with an acceleration of g by 4 this surface is smooth coefficient of friction is mu is equal to 1 by 5 between m1 and m2 a horizontal force of 30 newtons applied on plank of mass m1 acceleration of 
the bar and plank respectively in reference frame of the elevators are. Uh, we need to first find out how much is the maximum friction force that will be acting on the interface of M1 and M2. Effective G along this direction will be G plus G by 4 or it is 5 G by 4. So the normal force at this surface it will be M2 into 5 G by 4 and the maximum possible value of the friction here FR2 would be mu that is 1 by 5 into M2 that is 2 kg and the value of effective G is 5 into 10 divided by 4. This will cancel out. So FR2 that is the maximum value of the friction force that is coming out to be 5 Newton at this surface. Now here this force F that is 30 Newton is acting on lower block. So if I assume that all of the masses are moving together then the possible acceleration that I would calculate here it would be 30 divided by these two masses taken together will be how much it is 10 that is coming out to be 3 meter per second square but the maximum force that can be transmitted on mass M2 that is altogether 5 Newton itself and it will provide a maximum acceleration of 2.5 meter per second square so what we conclude here that 3 meter per second square that is the common acceleration of both of the masses taken together is actually not a feasible situation. So simply it means this M1 mass will be moving separately and this M2 will be moving by this surface that is the force of friction itself. So I would say acceleration of the upper block of mass M2 it is 5 divided by 2 that is 2.5 meter per second square along this direction. Now we need to calculate the acceleration of this mass. Acceleration of this mass I would say force F will be acting along the direction. Along the direction it is friction force. So it is 30 minus 5 and the mass of this block was 8. So it is 25 divided by 8 meter per second square. We got the answer for the acceleration of mass M2 to be 2.5 meter per second square and for the mass M1 to be 25 divided by 8 meter per second square. So looking onto the option, option 3 is the correct answer for question number 19. Now let's take on to question number 20. In question number 20, a block of mass 2 kg is given some velocity horizontally and then the block slid over a horizontal plane. The figure shows the velocity time graph of the motion. The coefficient of sliding friction between the plane and the block is. If it has been retarded by the force of friction itself then definitely the retardation would be mu into g itself. That is the very standard value. So I would say mu into g is the value of retardation and that is very much clear here that the value of retardation is coming out to be 2 meter per second square. So the value of mu it will be 0 0.2 that is our answer. So question number 20 answer is option number 2. Now let us see the question number 21. 